Just one more thing about this Juneteenth, man. <laughs> Shout out my Aqua Leone, Leonia, Leonia Abbott. I hope I'm saying that right. Hey, after you, Aqua, I see you popping off. She belly flopping all over the place, man. And that's what this uh, platform is here for as we transition exclusively to 432 the drop.com. You know, we can say that we concluded our Prester series on YouTube <laughs> with the bonus of the bonus. <laughs> 102 and i uh, really hope you enjoyed it and just because it concludes on youtube the press the john investigation continues you know what i mean um you know forever so we're, we're always going to be digging on it and we're going to dig on it right now you know uh we're in the future right now and in the future you know what i'm saying on the home base at 432 the com. so look out for the updates and you know, we got this part, you know, uh, accomplished. So now we can just focus on the home page and the home team, and, you know, building up our flow, our tribe of music and continuing our press investigation exclusively at 432thedrop.com. So look out for us. My sister dropped a bombshell <laughs> on this Juneteenth. I mean, we, we said enough. We didn't talk car and Kahawa. You know, we didn't told you that. Yeah, even if you're... Even if you are freeing somebody, you're only talking about the South. And I mean, are you really freeing the people that are continuing to fight over a hundred years later in these Texas Indian wars and on and on? I mean, who's free? You know, free means that you're just some slave off the slave ship. But they put you on the slave ships from America. You weren't dropped off here, man. You're from here. You're born here. Your family's from here. Their family's from here. Their family's from here. Now they say, we free, boss, Juneteenth. That's when we was free. My sister just dropped, man. She dropped real rocks, man. Real heat. You know, that fiery coal in Psalms 18. Dragon fire. Real rocks on their head, bro. For the last body bag. <laughs> last body bag of the night, man. <laughs> right. Hey, Atma Aqua, she said, Juneteenth. Is said to represent June 18th through 19th. So whether you're talking the 18th or the 19th, these people are sick, man. Hey, hey, put the kitties to bed, man. These motherfuckers crazy, man. These motherfuckers crazy. These people got you celebrating your own demise, man. In so many ways, as you wake up, as you pop off, and as you become aware, you say, I've been representing Juneteenth like it was my narrative that is June 19th, 1865 or such and such, whoever announced the end of slavery, but you still fighting in 1920, 1930, <laughs> you still fighting Indian wars, man for your homeland. They can't free you unless they bounce. There's no such thing as freeing us. This is our land. Either it is or it ain't. That's the Kumsay flow. No, we gonna free you now. You ain't nobody to free us, man. We free because Hawaii frees us, man. Well, this marks the date of freedom, man. Nah, man, this marks the date of June 18th. What happened in June 18th? I thought I was celebrating June 19th, and you celebrate it every year. Juneteenth, they say. Hink, wink, wink. Juneteenth don't have to mean June 19th when they say Juneteenth. Do it. Now, Juneteenth can mean something generic like any time in the teens in June. It could be 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, or the 18th, or the 19th. They got our people celebrating the Papu Boo dumbly. Papu Bulldogs to take out all y'all. Ravishing mammals issue Vatican Papus, tricking Adam and Eve to bite the Vatican apple. Back when mountains was trees, we was feeling like Rambo. Protecting our land, 
What you mean they freed you, boss? You were still fighting. So this day can't be about your freedom. So what could it be about June 18th? That's like them having you celebrate your freedom on December 26th. But December 25th is their, win you know, all that is the winter solstice. All that is, is their birth of their e Zeus, the birth of Zeus, Nimrod, and all that flow. Oh, that's like saying, oh, Halloween is October 31st, but really, Sam Hain, they got a, they got a Sam Hain Eve, they got a Halloween Eve, All Hallows Eve. You're not thinking about, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So Halloween ain't just uh, October 31st, it's October 30th, <laughs> 31st, and November 1st, All Saints Day. Damn. It's a three-day holiday, not just one, but the layman. You believe anything they tell you, right? When are you going to truly pop off, my Nagi? Stop going after their days. Stop going after their frequency. Because they got us in a Ruach. Well, Hawa got us in a Ruach, Tardy Ma. They just over here bagging on our ass, man. Put the kitties to bed. They banging on us, man. They are banging on us, man. They got us popping off June 10th. What happened in June 18? What are they really celebrating? Papal bulldogs to take down all y'all. Somebody left a comment. You know, it's a more and more war. They come over here with a twisted frequency. Not all, but some. Not all, but some, you know. They say, uh, you can't be the Saracen. And Israel, you know, Saracen never referred to Israel. The Papal Bull was not about Israel. It was about the Saracen. We are the sons of Sarah and the daughters of Sarah. We're talking Abraham Khan. Back, back, we're talking Abraham Khan. And Lot, uh, I said, excuse me, Lot, father of Moab and the Moabites, you're not from Abraham. You're from Lot, the nephew. You're the nephew's kids. You're not from the seed, from the loins of Abraham. That This is the Baruch we're talking about. This is the Baruch that we're talking about that Isaac's popping off with. When the Ishmael want to get the shine. Ishmaelites, we're talking air proper, man. Because an Arab is a rabbi. Got to be a code keeper to be an Arab. So Sarah sins, Israel, we're talking the tribes of Hawakwa, Jacob. We're talking the Byzantine Empire that went down in 1453, one year later. I'm talking Mosak, the founder, Mazaka, Cappadocia, Kazaria, Kazar, Zar is the Ka, 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 Ka. Well, you know, that's the dragon. So what dragon kings are the Khazars? That's Mazaka through a swerving back to Mosak. 1453, this kingdom was taken out. Oh, that was just the Moors. They want us to believe all this Papa Bull was just about the Moors. Oh, brother, you can't have it both ways. You can't be, he said, do you identify as a Moor or Israel? I said, brother, Moor means great and can't get no greater than the seed of the Khan. The seed of Hawa. It don't get no greater than the seed of Hawa. And it don't get no greater than the covenant Hawa has made with Dawi, David, Psalms 89, and his seed forever. We're not trying to exclude nobody. We're trying to include our tribe so we can tribe up. And if you truly from the heart bone cared about our tribes that were decimated, you would allow us to form up as a tribe without trying to, you know, um, intersect us from molding and forming and being framed in shape with yourself or with your own lives or trying to decimate us. Oh, you, how can us Nagas not be included in the savagery of the Papu Bull when in 1452, that's 
40 years before 1492, Columbus selling the ocean blue. Where he found me and you, right? Unless he's a more. Yeah, I think the papal bull was all about Israel. I don't think everybody went down in the flames of the papal bull. Not when King Charles V, oh, Charles Canto, is a Moor. But which one, which faction of the Moor? Right now, we got to get specific. But you're going to have to deal with that yourselves. You're going to have to allow us to pop off and just look at it all as one thing until we can differentiate who's who. Because all y'all got your hands dirty. Yeah, Papa Bull has everything to do with us. And we celebrate it June 10th. June 10th is about their Papal Bulldog in 1452. Not no 1865 situation. Not no 400 years later situation. These people are working us over. They're like, come on, drop. Don't take all the fun away. Let us have Juneteenth. We don't got 4th of July. Let's have Juneteenth. <laughs> really? Do you want this date? Why do you think they announced the freedom on June 19th? You don't think it had nothing to do with June 18th? Love to Leonia. Woo-wee. <laughs> the Portuguese slave trade from West Africa or Mexico. Because this is Northwest Africa on their Amexa maps. We're just talking the Moabites. You're going to have to let us pop off, man. If Israel went around uh, conquering everybody and doing treaties and taking all y'all land based on treaties to this day that are enacted and never retracted, enacted and never retracted, papal bulldogs to take out all law to all y'all. <laughs> Ravishing mammals, issuing Vatican papals, tricking Adam and Eve to eat that Vatican apple, man. The poison, the seducing, taking our gold away, taking out our ancient love song so we can worship their excellent new tune, selling of Joseph Samuel Seawall. Let us find the truth. Take the wheel, drop nation, cone, allow We are truly becoming aware, my naga. And everything damn near they marked in their calendar all the way into the Martin Luther Kings and all these birthdays and all this stuff they're doing. A lot of it is purposely to get us to worship, even if we think we are uh, celebrating somebody in our lineage, like a Martin Luther King or whatever day they're trying to make on the calendar, a lot of that has pagan roots. All of, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're only giving you these days for a reason. They have so many gods to worship. They have many days to give up. It don't mean that everybody's, you know, celebration is going to be hijacked, but I'm just saying you're going to have to look at it and look, look, look a little deeper when they just put it on the calendar. Juneteenth. It's dangerously close to June 18th because <laughs> you're just talking 19. Just like All Hallows Eve and then All Hallows Day and then All Saints Day on the Halloween flow, Samayim flow. Oh, it's coming up. You're going to have to go through this all over again, right? We celebrate our own demise with 4th of July. Were you lying to the Judah? The Shikamagwa? All these ping, pow, big blasts and big sticks of dynamite in the air. You know you're in a war zone and you know you've been defeated. It's okay to admit that. Somebody else else left a comment since we talked in comments. Somebody else said, hey, we haven't been defeated, man. All right, where's your land, man? I, I consider not having my land that someone took that shit. And even if the war ain't over, for a time we were defeated because we were in a Ruach Tarde Mine. And ain't nothing else to do in the Ruach Tardy Ma. But get your ass whooped. No, we didn't get our ass whooped. You did get your ass whooped. That's why you don't got shit right now. It's okay to admit it. Get your ass up off the floor. You don't got to be knocked out. But you got, you know, a, a flash knockout. 
maybe you, maybe it was a jab you didn't see coming. Maybe they hit you with a body shot that you just didn't like the feeling of. Uppercut anything, man, but we got hit with something, man. And it's our fault for not keeping our defense tight. And our defense is the code. KTC, you know how we do. Put our power first. We never lose. MHOE, most high over everything. We've been celebrating our own defeat and demise the whole time, even in the Juneteenth flow. It's related right to the same date. And this ain't no coinky dink, man. Oh, but it's about the freedom. No, it's about enslavement. Forever enslavement. In January 5th, 1455, man, <laughs> just like New Year's, <laughs> are we out here celebrating New Year in the freezing cold? And they're using all that energy we produce. And that's what this is about, your energy. You might be celebrating Martin Luther King Day, but if it's on a day to one of their pagan gods, they're using that energy to do what? They're using all that energy we producing and remembering the papal bull every year. Every year, we remember the papal bull subconsciously, but we just call it June 10th, my naga. Damn. Every year. Every year, even this past year, perpetually, because it's all about perpetual slavery. Love to my aqua Leona Abbott. It's all about perpetual slavery with these people. Doom diverse is what? Juneteenth. <sighs> yeah, man. <laughs> June 10th is uh, June 19th, right? Every Sunday. Juneteenth is a federal, <laughs> you know what federal means, man? Federal holiday. So it got to be about war. Papu Boo gave them the power for their manifest destiny. 1492, all propagated on the foundation of this Pope Nicholas V. Pope Nicholas V issued the Papal Bull Doom Diverses on the 18th of June. It's, this is just too close to call. And now we now we celebrating June 10th. Not June 19th. June 10th. <laughs> June 18th. 1452. Authorize Alfonso V of Portugal to reduce any Saracens. Now, they put Muslims as conjecture in parentheses because that's not what it said. They're just trying to lead you to think this was about Muslims being attacked by Christians. That's their narrative. Here's the real spill. You listening? Have you heard of um, Mohammedan Catholics? Moroccan Catholics? Because Catholic is just a Cathay. Cathay means Pure land, promised land. <laughs> pure land, kata. People of the pure land, man. That's the Cathay. The Moroccan people want the pure land. Sarah's sons and daughters. But you need to be able to see the Abraham to even be a Sarah's son, man. It's the opposite of everything these jabronis Try to put in parentheses. Reverse the curse. You know what a Saracen's head look like? We're talking Juneteenth, right? <laughs> it looks like Dawi. It looks like the cons of cons. These are the Saracens. David, whom I will raise up into them. These are the Saracens. That are never forgotten. These are the real more, which means great ones connected with the Mongol flow, which means great ones. You're the Mongol, so-called, you're the more so-called, but you're not more-ish because you're not Jewish. You're, you're not great-ish. So they're taking the entire title of all the greats, all right, because they want to be the Presta. 
the one shepherd. My servant David shall be king over them, and they shall have one shepherd, and they shall walk in my ordinances, observe my statutes, and do them. You got to be a cold keeper to be an A rabbi, an heir of proper, because now you're coming out the seat of Joktan or Katan or Kata. Cathay is Joktan, Kata. The Eber flow. Joktan's son, the first, Joktan's son is the first to speak Arabic, man. Go get the drop. But my servant David shall be one shepherd. So we, we talk about these things. And we know what a Saracen's head look like. <laughs> so don't play with us, man. Yeah, these are Saracen's heads, right? But they're also the lost tribe of Israel. But Israel got nothing to do with this. Israel got everything to do with this because this is the Saracen's head. Copper color, ruddy naga, just like you, is the real A rabbi. Saracen. Victory. Vitrix Fortuna Sapientia. Wisdom is the conqueror of fortune. Alahua. Uh, but now we're talking them roots again. We're talking them Saracen. Let's get it. A Saracen's head. Wisdom is the conqueror of fortune. Remember that. Get back to Hawaii. We know we're talking Saracen. This would be <laughs> to them a Saracen. You don't think they conquered the people of Dawi with this papal bull? They going after kingdoms, ain't they? Ain't they, boss? Let's get it. This facilitated, hold up, because the aqua just said perpetual, right? Are people celebrating this perpetually every year, every year, even this past year, perpetually, whether it's their January 5th, what's, what's popping January 5th? So this authorized Alfonso V of Portugal to reduce any Saracens. You, anybody that's looking like you, but not because they don't look like you, because they also still look like you. So it wasn't about color, white people versus black people. It was about the tribe, the promised land, the Cathay, the Kata, the Saracen, the people of Abraham and Sarah, not the Moabites because they're not of Abraham and Sarah. Come. Let's get it. June 10th, June 19th, Papal Bull. June 18th, June 10th, Papal Bull, doom, because this was a doom to the Saracen, the Israelite, the light of Hawa. This was a big shift right here. That's why we've been talking about it for so long. Hey, hop to the bro legs. We're bringing it out. We are going to continue to pull the babies out the bath water, man. Rescue the Moshe out the bath water. As we see clearly. It's all about you, man. It's all about you, man. This facilitated the Portuguese slave trade from West Africa. Where's West Africa? A Maxim, remember that? <laughs> Whom I will raise up. Uh, Maxim map. I know I got it up. <laughs> One of these great tabs. Northwest. <laughs> 
Max and Mav. Yeah, yeah. Let it be known. Let it be shown. <laughs> First and true divine name of ancient Africa is a Maxim. <sighs> These people, man. Ham and Kush. Ham and Kush. Half the world for ham, half the world for Kush. I'm sorry, Shem. I'm sorry, Yepa. <laughs> it's just ham and Kush. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it's the damn doom diverses, man. Yeah. Northwest Africa, they say, huh? Northwest. Oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this. Northwest Africa. A max. Southwest Africa. All right. So North America is Northwest Africa. You need this for the context of the hijack mind bone that we have to go into to pull out the drop and the babies out the bathwater out this papal boo doom diverses that you celebrate every year as Juneteenth. Northwest Africa is America, man. North America. Southwest is South America. It's all the Moorish Empire. Hammock Kush, right? Hammock Kush. Stop it, man. Cut the shit, man. Let's go, man. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, man. So they facilitated the Portuguese slave trade from West Africa. Ka, ka. Was it Northwest Africa or Southwest Africa? What do y'all think, Managa? 50 50 bet. Did they say Northwest? They said West Africa, which means that they probably hit up both. West Africa North and West Africa South to get slaves because they facilitated the slave trade from West Africa. Everything in reverse, my naga. Slave trade in reverse, my naga. They found you here, then showed you off to the rest of the world because you, you were worth something. You were New World Nagas. They said, look at these new Nagas we found in this new world. Robert Knox and the races of men say nothing was identical. Not the birds, not the trees, not the fish. Nothing here was identical with what they were finding in their own world. Including the people. So they found the people and they facilitated the slave trade from West Africa. What they're not telling you, <laughs> silly, slick, slithering, more ish, a maxim <laughs> is America. Hammond Kush, Hammond Kush. The same Pope wrote the bull Romanus Pontifex on January 5th. So there's a second bull. When do you celebrate the second bull? <laughs> New Year's, man. It's crazy talk. It's crazy talk. 1455 to the same Alfonso as a follow-up to the Doom Diverses. So you follow it up, your New Year's, you pop it off. <laughs> it extended to the Cathay. Catholic is like saying Jewish and more-ish. Either you great or you ain't great. And the only thing that keep you being great, my nage, is the covenant with my chosen. Now we're talking Prester John Kandawi. Now we're talking Dawi Da Dodi. <laughs> Forever established seed. Build up your throne to all generations. I'm talking that we, when one day you gonna search for as the children of Israel return 
seek, search. What do you, what does it mean to seek? That means you desire what? The code, your creator, order. You want to listen again? You want the paradise? You want cafe? You want the cafe? The cafe? Even the Sarah saying is found in calfness. You want the calfness? You want the cafe? Well, you're going to have to return the children of Israel. You're going to have to return. You're going to have to seek Hawa, KTC. You're going to have to seek Dawi, Yakan. You're going to have to get depressed to 102 and keep searching to be humble enough to come trembling unto Hawa and the goodness of Hawa in these days, man. The end of the hijack city, you know, mind of a hijack got us in the mind of a hijack. We still in that Ruach Tardy Ma or are we popping off? <laughs> Shout out to Five Eyes Ma. <laughs> Shout out to Ma Jigga, man. <laughs> so hey man come on man <laughs> you see is this a coincidence cool if you think something as big as juneteenth june 18th or 19th commemorating the emancipation of enslaved african americans but you still fighting you still going what they call that uh the texas indian wars right because America has been at war 93% of the time. So what, what, what date they going to give us as some completion date for this June 10th? Emancipation of enslaved African-Americans. Where's Africa? Huh? Huh? I, I, I declare according to Morocco, who put the Corporation of the United States on the map, <laughs> I'm going to have to, you know, uh, revert to these maps because uh, they seem to have the drop before the Corporation of the United States of America popping off in 1776, before they got their independence from black-ass Charles in there. <laughs> or did they just spread out like King James with these patents, making patents on a Naga in Virginia and elsewhere, taking our documents, remixing it, and putting it into a King James Bible. Yeah, King James colonized America. Did you know that? He colonized Northwest Africa and put patents of longitude and latitude, took your things, <laughs> got the manuscripts translated whatever he wanted, put a remix, because King James, although he was a Naga, he was more like this type of Naga. But these black Israelite camps like to run off. He was a black man. He was a black man. He was a black man. What's the next step you ask, black man, as you wake up? Am I black? Or am I the Sheik of Magua Cherokee? Before you were the black and Negro and African American, Manaka, you the Sheik of Magua. And even this is a byword. Even this is a demon name as we got with the Tishbite flow. Even this is a demon name. Demon name. People, tribe, gentelic of a clan, so they're giving you something generic, a word that identifies a group of people in relation to a particular place. So the Shikamaga is a demon. It's relating to a river of death called the Shikamaga, but that's not who they are. They're just being named after the place of the river of death. Because that's how many Nagas we lost. You say you're French, that's a demon name. It says you're from a general place, but it doesn't say what tribe you're from. Those are demon names. Tishbite, 
Elijah, Damon, and where's Elijah from? Where'd he go? Where'd he come from? <laughs> go get 102. We out of here, man. They want to say that uh, Juneteenth, these African Americans, I ask you again, where's Africa, man? It appears that they <laughs> rode up on the Prestis Kingdom, facilitated the slave trade from West, West Africa's Amexums, Ham and Kush, Ham and Kush. Juneteenth marks the anniversary of the announcement of the General Order Number no. 3 by Union Army General Gordon Granger on June 19, 1865, proclaiming freedom to enslaved Africans <laughs> in Texas because the Indians were at war 93% of the time. <laughs> Nah, 100%, right? Because 1865, when you're just declaring freedom, what are we doing? What's the Naga doing in Texas? The car in Kahawa. Shout out to the Ock, Yosef Marul, who was leading the charge. Texas Indian War, Navajo, Apache, California, Colorado. Snake war, who's the snake? <laughs> or we're just talking dragon wars and Utah, Black Hawk War at the same damn time. Wait, Judah's involved? And the Tall Texas, so Sylvanus Tall Texas, Solomon the Builder. <laughs> 1865, I think your wars continue, don't you? Mexico, Mozaka, Mexico War force invading Mexico. I mean, I think Hawaii, Kama, Hama, Kamaya, 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 Kamehameha, you know what I'm saying? Philippines, you know what a Philippine look like, man. We've we been through this. We're talking Ofer, we're talking the flow. Right, we're going to get back on John Tom, talk a little more Ophir, man. I got y'all. We're talking cities of gold. I got y'all. Right now, man, we're still talking Seminole Wars because the Seminole were still tribed up with the Shikamagua, Cherokee, and the Shikamagua were the ones that didn't want to sign no treaties. That's why the Kumse went all the way up on them. Seminole right there next to them, because that's Shem, Sheminole. Barbary is the swan. We're talking swan knights. So Venice told Texas. And it all popped off with the Shikamagua. And look at how they tell you in your face, Northwest Indian War is Northwest a maxim. Body bag for the illusion. Ping, pow. Count the body bags, man. Sweep them up, my nugget. We going in. Put the kitties to bed. These niggas done, done, done trespassed too long, man. This bullshit can't rock no more, man. Nah, Charles. Nah, man. What my aqua say, man? <laughs> Let me calm down. What my aqua say? Wow, we Juneteenth is said to represent June eighteenth slash nineteenth. They got our people celebrating the papal bull, dumb, doom, doomly, dumbly. June eighteenth, fourteen fifty two. <sighs> Holy Roman Emperor Charles the fifth. 1500. So you telling me <laughs> 50 years after the Papal Bull, how can he be reigning as the Roman Empire Emperor, man? If his family was taken out by the Papal Bull, ping, pow, sweep him up, man. Body bag for the illusion. It looks like he's doing just fine to me. It looks like Charlesy boy is popping off on the Inca in America. I thought the Papal Bull was supposed to subjugate all Saracens. He must not be a Saracen. He don't look like he's subjugated by the white man. That's 
as a follow up to the dumb diverses, doom diverses. It extended to the Catholic nations of Europe Dominion. Europe Dominion. The first subsequent European <laughs> emperor of the Inca is Charles. He's the first European to rule the Inca. He's not the first European to rule. He's the first European to rule the Inca. That means he's coming out of a line of other niggas that's ruling over other niggas. Invading and searching out and capturing your dominions just because they said it's okay in 1452 officially because Pope Nicholas made it official that they can do this. Do what, man? <laughs> It gave them dominion over discovered lands during the age of discovery. Anything they found, they can have. Anything they found, they can have. And if this is in 1452, then how the hell is this popping off in 1500? I'll wait. Apparently, he didn't get the memo. Apparently, he didn't get the message. He's supposed to be in perpetual slavery, Charles. All black people got invaded by white people, Charles. Or black man, black man. Did you write? <laughs> Did you write this script? Is this all about you invading West Africa? Northwest of Mexico is Northwest Indian War. 1785, ain't that when Dragon Canoe got killed right after making an alliance with the Choctaw? No major Indian War. Ain't this the, the Fort Finity Treaty? Fort Finity. Gave up damn near all of Ohio. Got gotcha. you. Barbary War. Oh, no major war. Ain't this Fort um Fort Wayne Treaty that gave up 30 million acres of Naga land? <laughs> wow. I mean, the Treaty of Fort Wayne. Signed by the Delaware, <laughs> Potawatomi, nearly 1,400 Potawatomi, Delaware, Miami, Eel River Indians and their allies witnessed the Fort Wayne Treaty. That don't mean that everybody was hijacked. Come on, man, that's a hijack. <laughs> it just means that their leaders were going after these treaties back to the 18 uh, or 1787 Treaty of Pieces and Friendships with the hijack, with the invaders, that they now have to help out the invaders or stay out the way when the invaders is whooping up on us. They say it ceded 2.5 million acres of tribal land. In present day, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, in exchange for peace, treaties of peace and friendship. That's what they're getting us in present day. It's way more than 2.5 million acres, ain't it? Ain't it, boss? The last time that I checked, the last time that I checked, 1809, when they say there's no major war, boss, ain't nothing to see here, boss. Something led to this major Tecumseh War. Something led to the 1811 Comet that they call Napoleon's Comet because he's getting ran up out of Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. The Russia is on fire. Napoleon's getting ran out of Russia. Russia, Russia. Car. <laughs> Say it with me, my noggins in the back of the class. Ania, <laughs> Russia connects directly through the Straits of Ania to the kingdom of the Preston John. Napoleon's getting ran out by this 
Common or Dragon in 1811. And the comb says the Common is popping off in 1811. You just got a dragon flying from here to there, popping off. 1811 comments, because meteors are comets and meteors are prestis. Nothing to see here, boss. So what happened? What 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 popped off this 1809 situation? Huh? What did they want? They wanted to press this land. How much did they get? For real, for real. The Treaty of Fort Wayne is an 1809 treaty that obtained 29 million, not 2.5, boss. 30 million acres of land, man. 29 million, 719,530 acres. That's 29 million, 719,530 joy worlds. Imagine being able to give 30 million joy worlds to the tribe today. This ain't even including the treaty of affinity. Huh? Treaty. A Fort Finity, or excuse me, Finnery, or is it just Finny? All right, Finny. <laughs> yeah, man. 1785, boss. Oh, they just, uh, okay, there we go. The Treaty of Fort Finney, also known as the Treaty of the, at the mouth of the Great Miami, signed January 31st, 1786 at Fort Finity near modern day Cincinnati between the U.S. and Shawnee leaders after the American Revolutionary War ceding parts of Ohio to the United States, parts of the entire state. The treaty was reluctantly signed by the Shawnee, so they didn't want to sign it, what happened? And later renounced by other leaders like who? Tecumseh then pops off the Northwest Indian War. I'm sorry, Africa. They, they brought us from Africa. We from Africa, right? They laughing in our face, man. They're like, yeah, you're in Africa. Uh, they brought you from here. Because they say the Moorish Empire extended at one time from Africa and Europe to the Americas, anciently referred to as a Mex. Stop it, man. Hammond Kush, Hammond Kush. So the Treaty of Forfinity or excuse me, Finney, 18, 1786, is exactly just like the Treaty of Fort Wayne. They say nothing to see here, boss. 1786, what's happening? Chicamauga War, Northwest Indian War, what led into this? What's, what's at the conclusion of this? Oh, nothing to see here, boss. Uh, no, no major war. We're talking about nothing but major war. And something prompted the war to continue. More treaties, more land. More land. 29 million acres, 719,000 acres, 530 acres. That's a lot of acres for one treaty. Going weird to the settlers. Who's that? Who's migrating, boss? <laughs> Never forget, man, who's migrating, boss? <laughs> man. Oh, man, who, who's migrating, boss? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. I ain't got Tabby in a minute. I'm going to get Tabby enough to realize who's migrating, boss. It's one of these, man. <laughs> Oh, we still got the fire burning? Hey, we still got the fire burning, my nine. Yeah, y'all popping off, man. That's all right. That's all right, man. Hold up. Let's just let the fire burn, man. That's all right, man. <laughs> Who's migrating through Il Illinois and Indiana? Through Cairo, Mecca. Who's making their hajis? 
350 miles around their triangle, around their cube. Oh, right, right. Under Lake Michigan, under Chicago, under the Kankakee River, you have a holy mountain of harmonics. We're talking the Ben Ishmael tribe. They're migrating. Yeah. Islam being a heavy presence in North West Africa. <laughs> Got him. Got him, boss. Ishmael had a collective of thousands of runaway slaves or were they being given land to migrate do you believe that they were runaway slaves or were they migrating by the thousands and they could have helped the Comse and instead they chose to join the Kentuckians and fight against the Comse with the poor whites because it's a treaty boss of pieces and friendship they set up their cities in Illinois and in Indiana. Who's the settlers getting paid? Who's the settlers getting 30 million acres of land in Illinois? Setting up their Cairo, Morocco, Mecca, and Muhammad. I'm talking about. <laughs> we talking about. The tribe of Ishmael migration, 1785, boss. 1905. 1785, they're migrating. Indianapolis, the Indians, <laughs> their Apollo flow, they're trying to put on it, right? <laughs> Sun God, Gato, Morocco. We got to get down to the nitty gritty. I mean, there's one comment by Aqua Leona's and popped us off. Muhammad, Mecca, Indiana, Indiana right? <laughs> Under Lake Michigan. All this is happening. 1785, boss. You still got the fire burning, boss? Man, hold up, man. Hold up, man. So they gave up 29,719,530 acres boss to the settlers of illinois and indiana boss seventeen eighty five boss what's happening in seventeen eighty five so they started migrating right at the time of the treaty of finner was it uh finney Right, Fort Finney Treaty, where they got parts of Ohio from 1786. Uh oh, caught them red handed, boss. So they start their migration. Ishmael starts migrating, teaming up with the poor rights, whites, joining the Kentuckians. And yes, there's glaciation lines. We're talking Little Ice Age. Ishmael's migrate in 1785. Ishmael <laughs> and uh, the other Confederacy, Confederate tribes, 1785, 1786, are getting what? Parts of Ohio, seeding parts of the Ohio country to the United States. But 1787 comes to what? Treaties of peace and friendship saying that they're all one team. Now they got the more issue. 1787, they're really cl clicked in, but they've been clicked in. I said they've been clicked in with Charles and them. I'm talking the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. They've been clicked in. Even before they click clacked on the indigenous Nagas in America, they were clicked in. Because these are the Europeans. So who's the European claiming to be the European today? Why are they painting their images? Why are they trying to whiten up their skin when you see the melanin? Because they don't want you to know that the Spanish look like these niggas. And that these 
Portuguese were niggas and that Charles is a nigga. I said, this nigga is a nigga. Well, I'm just talking about Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, man. And the Habsburgs and them, right? Niggas. On the coin, niggas. Charles, 1500, nigga. How you popping off in 1500, Charles? I thought we were invaded. So this must be a nigga on Naga War. A serpent on Dragon War. I said alchemical serpent against the alchemical dragon. The unknown substance. Unknown origin. The vessel that contains the Ruach of Hawa is the dragon. Kundalini, dragon. Chakra, dragon. Energy, frequency, vibration, dragon. Any atmospheric phenomenon, dragon. Yeah. You've been in a Ruach Tardy Ma, a deep sleep, my dragon cons. Especially when you know that a dragon is a fierce or violent person. Why are you violent? Why are you violent? Well, because all the lands that they discovered are now under their dominion, according to the hijack, along with sanctifying the seizure of non-Christian lands. So you can't be rocking with their Christus if they seize your land. So Kitsukwado can't be no Christian that the Mormons try to make JC. He can't be no Christian, man. If they're seizing non-Christian land <laughs> and it encouraged the enslavement of natives from where? North America, Northwest Africa, excuse me, Northwest Africa. Non-Christian peoples in Africa and the new world, right, Northwest Africa, 1785, they start to migrate, right? Here they come, Illinois. Here they come, Indianapolis. Here comes Morocco, Indiana. The Indians, the king of the Indians, the press is getting invaded. They call it migration. It's like the hijack calls it colonization, but it's still invasion because you're getting the land. How you getting the land from treaties, man? <laughs> or else you wouldn't be looking like this, Charles, in 1500s. Not when the papal bull is in 1452. So this can't be a white on black day. <laughs> and the Saracen can't be who they're calling the Moor-ish. It had to be Israel. It ain't no issues about it. Because we were cut off from being a nation. We were cut off from being a nation. But wisdom, Ama, conquers all fortune. But nothing is worth more than the code we keep with our creator, the relationship we got with our creator, Halal Wa, then our mama herself, our Abba. Hey, Amaz worth more than rubies and fine gold. So if your fortune's all about the gold, you ain't got no wisdom, man. Your fortune's about your family, your Shabbata, the land that you're able to keep. It's conquered by wisdom. And wisdom says, boy, you must be thoughtless if you ain't thinking about me. Proverbs chapter 8. 1785, they start to migrate officially the confederacy psalms 83 right they're getting money more importantly they're getting land <laughs> 1786 they're getting parts of ohio 1809 they get another 30 million acres of land 
uh, for the new settlers of Illinois and Indiana. Indiana, Illinois, new settlers are migrating in 1785. And what else is happening in 1785? Just to top all this off with the tens of millions of acres of land, these hijacks are migrating, invading their way into because they're fighting on behalf of the Kentuckians. They're fighting on behalf of the hijacks. They're invading our land and fighting against us. Fighting against big tech. The Coombs, they tried to tribe them up. They were already out of order, already made treaties. Push my Tahawa or push my Taha. Said what? I see you on the battlefield, tech. You ain't no sovereign over us. You ain't no king to us. He's talking about the king of Judah. I'm talking about Tekum. Kum means to rise. I'm talking about the dragon that's rising. I'm talking about the comet, the dragon of 1811, 1812. Symbolizing what, man? That this was the downfall for a while of the Naga. Oh, they freed us in 1865, boss. <laughs> they freed us with Juneteenth, man. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. And this is still about you. We're talking Cold Wars and we're talking Antarctica, man. <laughs> Vietnam, still about the Naga. Cold Wars, we're talking ice walls. <laughs> and here we go with the Afghan flow. And Afghan is the son of Jeremiah, son of Saul. The Benjamites are the Afghana. Yeah. The Yemen. Yeah. Yemen. <laughs> the Yemen, the Yemen is from the Joktan flow. All these are seeds of Eber. The Arab propers are a rabbi. The rabbis are the priests, the cons. The cons. Love to my Hawaii, Hawaiian family. They said we call the king, the chief, the big kahuna. The big kahuna is the big con. But we're talking about the big con tech, man. The con con. 1785, they began to migrate. But we also lost a real one in 1785. Keep the fire burning for Dragon Canoe. Yeah. We lost the real one in 1785. Or Shalak, 1792. Wow. So 1792, 1785, seven years apart from the beginning of their migration is the fall of Dragon Canoe. So John Watts, they say, assume control. The Cherokee continued their policy of Indian unity. Don't that make sense? And hostility towards European Americans. First European, European emperors. Subsequent first European, Charles. <laughs> All these are Europeans. How'd they say he died? February 29th, 1792. At Running Water Town from exhaustion. Come on, man. This this Naga done fought all these wars. Overcame all these hijacks for him just to suddenly be exhausted. In 1792. Seven years after 1795. Or 85. 
And this leads into more treaties. So it seemed like when Dragon Canoe died, you know, the heart bone tailed off, you know, maybe, you know, someone went back door them into another treaty or, you know, now they say no major war because they're working on this new Fort Wayne treaty. When was Fort Finney again? Fort Wayne, 1809. Fort Finney. Treaty, 1786. 1786 is the Fort Finney Treaty given up most of Ohio. That's 10 years <laughs> after the start of this so-called American Revolution. But revolution means you're going against something, right? So what energy, what force, what power were they going against in 1786? It's the same power they went against in the Papal Bull Doom Night versus 1452. Treaty of Fort Finney. Seventeen eighty-six. Dragon Canoe dies <laughs> six years later after they gave up all this Ohio. Then comes the $30 million or 30 million acre grab of the Fort Wayne Treaty. 29,719,530 acres of Native American land for the settlers of, of Illinois and Indiana. And the settlers of Illinois and Indiana is none other than our brothers, right? Ishmael, because we're Isaac. Right. <laughs> All from Abraham. Here they come migrating on our head bones in Illinois and in Indiana. Holy Mountain Harmonics. Bringing their Muhammad Baphomet flow. And here comes an ice age that we're just now getting out of. Got it. Got it, boss. Got it, boss. Juneteenth, 1865, <laughs> it's a continuation of these same Tecumseh, Shikamagua, Karankahawa, Cherokee, Shikamagua War. And the Shikamagua referred to the Nagas, the group that separated, man. Why? Because these other Nagas wanted to make peace and do treaties. Which treaty specifically? The treaties of peace and friendship. This is a treaty of peace and friendship established by the U.S. or us and the United States of America. Who's us? Morocco. Where's Morocco? Morocco is right here, my nigga. Under Lake Michigan, man. Did you know it? Right near Illinois. Right near Indiana. Right near Danville. But now we're talking Phineas and Fur. Uh-oh. Free Phoenix. Morocco's over here because this is Africa. Ping pow. Got it. Treaties of pieces and friendship, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Objects in the mirror might be closer than what they appear. 
Say it with me. Objects in the mirror might be closer than what they appear. 1786, it's a lot closer than you think. 1786, yeah. It's one year after they start migrating, boss. I still got the firebird. So, Duwada, Aqua, Leona for raising this frequency for us to vibrate to and see clearly as we just pop off. We're just popping off. We're going to keep popping off. And you popping off. And, you know, Duwada to you. All my Nagas, you know what I'm saying? Duwada to you for overcoming everything you're doing. I know it ain't easy. You dodging your own hijack. A lot of y'all in horrendous situations or, you know, got a lot of obstacles you overcome in personal flow, losing people, losing stuff, losing cars, losing houses, everybody getting shaken up, man. You know, gas prices is crazy. They're talking food shortages on Nagas. They, they're coming at us, you know, deleting our drop, deleting our investigation even into us trying to make it hard for a naga trying to force you know uh chemicals and stuff within us you know <laughs> you know trying to uh you know really hijack a naga's mind body and soul but i say top of the soul bone man because when it looks the most desperate and when it looks the most dismal and when it looks the most bleak out comes that fire that rose out the concrete, that spark, that spark in the dark. It had to get that dark to see that spark. And my naga, we did it again. We already won. Dodge your own hijack. Get out your own way. Don't expect nobody to pick you up now. Pick yourself up so you can be proud of yourself for doing that. Tribe up. The best way you can tribe up is by picking yourself up right now. Do your best not to have to lean on nobody. Know you got it within you and bring yourself whole to the tribe. You know how you get in a relationship and somebody's all broken and they all broken up and they just extra lean on you because they can't stand up themselves. They've been broken before. We don't need no broken ass noggins, man. We need noggins that are whole. Because the best thing you can do in a relationship is come to a relationship whole and complete. You don't need two halves to come together. You come together as a full 360 dragonfly. You put them circles together. You start popping spirals off. You don't come as a half, a half naga to the tribe. You come as a full, complete naga. That means you complete in the cold within you. You ain't covered this. You ain't bearing false witness on a naga. You ain't putting no power before your power. You resting on your Shabbat completely. You falling back. You falling forward. You, <laughs> you're cool, man. You're, you're all the way up. Honoring your frame and your shape. Room. No adultery. No mixing with impure vibrations. We're talking Juneteenth right now, Khan. Honoring our frame and our shape, Rakan. Yeah, I'm talking to Cole. I'm talking no vanity. No idols. We here, we <laughs> we here, we ain't here, man. No more murder. No more murder. No more ops, man. We know what the op is, man. We know <laughs> we're learning what it is. Ain't got nothing to do with color, complexion. It's the tribal war, man. And everyone who's getting caught <laughs> as straw man in between. No thievery on our nagas. We don't got to steal these. We ain't got to steal each other's land no more, right? We ain't got to migrate and invade on a naga and do treaties on a naga of pieces and friendship that are established between Morocco and the corporation hijacking the promised land. Kaleluz, Anya, Curvera. 
Kibe. So they confirm their friendship. The Shikamago want to know part of this piece, man. They confirm their friendship. We declare both parties agree that this treaty consisting of 25 articles shall be inserted in this book delivered to the Honorable Thomas Barclay. Now you got the Barclays arena, right? The agent of the United States, the agents, matrix man, agents of the corporation at our court. What are they talking Admiralty C law? Whose approbation it has been made and who is duly authorized on their part to treat with us concerning all matters contained. If either party shall be at war with any nation, here we go. <laughs> Here's the important part. Here's one of them. We're talking tribal war, right? Huh? We're talking tribal war. If either party be at war with any nation, whatever, the other party shall not take a commission from the enemy nor fight under their colors. They can't fight for you. They can't fight under your flag, my naga. They can't fight under the flag. They can't fight for Israel, man. They made a deal with the devil. All they can do is negotiate a Moorish shield. <laughs> They got to love this system because without this system, they got Hawaii's system and they don't want that type of judgment. The Arabs don't want these rabbis pop popping off, the sons of Sarah and Abraham popping off, who has wisdom that's going to conquer our fortune. Our fortune is conquered through Amah. Because Amah is understanding. Proverbs chapter 8. Do you understand? Who are you standing under? <laughs> now we understand. That these treaties. They can't help us. They can't fight under our colors. Man, blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. The enemy can't help. If either party shall be at war. Man. Man. You got to stay out the way or help us or you can't fight with them. Any Anything found, they got to return. They can't even put each other in captivity. <laughs> they can't even enslave each other, right? In the case of war, Article 16, the prisoners are not to be made slaves. Body bag for the illusion. <laughs> this is why black ass King Charles is not a slave. This is why the papal bull ain't got nothing to do with them because they can't be made slaves. More, <laughs> you got a treaty. The prisoners are not to be made slaves but be exchanged one for another, captain for captain. This is sick, man, but this is real, man. This is Morocco, man. This is Morocco, man. Huh? This is Morocco, man. 1785, they begin migrating and invading. They get their treaty the next year that they are now at peace with the hijack and what the Chickamauga say. <laughs> Hell no, nah. we are going to separate because who this greater body is of Cherokee, this greater body would be all the Moorish nations, right? Under the banner of the Karaka that are making treaties. The majority of the Cherokee, the majority of the greater body wished to make peace treaties of peace and friendship peace man the, the shikamagua said hell no we're gonna separate and dragon canoe started rocking out and they murdered dragon canoe for it.
They said he died from a possible heart attack of exhaustion after dancing all night, man. This is this is a slap in the face, man. So he fought all them wars to die because he was tired from dancing, man. Celebrating the recent conclusion of an alliance with who? The Muskogee and the Choctaw. Didn't Takum say try to try, but would push my push my Taha of the Choctaw. He said, I'll see you on the battlefield. No treaty, boss. Not with you. I already got a treaty with them. The Shikamagua were also celebrating a recent victory by one of their war bands against the Cumberland settlements. So when we celebrate, we don't celebrate Juneteenth. We don't celebrate 4th of July, July lying on Judah, lying on our name, bearing false witness on our cons, on Hawa, trying to steal our lot because the children of Lot ain't never happy with their lot. They want the promised land. They want Judah. They want Hasharah. They want Ania. They want Kalelus. Do y'all believe that this great warrior dragon canoe, dragon canoe? Oh, he's dragging his canoe. This is the dragon. Oh, he was exhausted after making alliances or did he get back door, right? Exhaustion, huh? Historians such as John P. Brown in Old Frontiers and James Mooney in his early ethnographic book, Myths of the Cherokee, consider him a role model for Tecumseh. And we got how Tecumseh came up under Joseph Bryan or Joseph Brand as well. And, you know, how he learned, you know, his, his flow, how to be an order, how to bring the tribe together, man, how to, how to unite from watching these cons ahead of him, such as Dragon Canoe, who was a member of a band of Shawnee living at the Shikamagua or living with the Shikamagua and taking part in their wars. In Tell Them They Lie, a book written by a direct descendant of the Sequoia named Traveler, Bird, both the Kobse and Sequoia, like the Sequoia tree, are stated to have been among his young warriors, man. So the Kobse was always there under Dragon Canoe. So in 1776 and seven and five, when they start, when Ishmael is migrating or invading, joining against the Shikamagua, fighting on behalf of who they call the Kentuckians. And the Kentuckians, Kentuckians now go to war with these cons who didn't want to do no deal, no treaty. Talking to Northwest Nagas, right? <laughs> Con, we got to get in the mind of a hijack just to see clearly sometimes because they put us in the mind of these hijacks. Holy Roman, but the Roman is the Raman, and the Raman means pomegranate, and the pomegranates refer to the pomegranagas of the promised land. They steal the titles, Rema to Roma. None to see here, boss. 1787 treaty. What, 86, Finney, Fort Finney, uh, you know, parts of Ohio are giving up. The same time as they start migrating in 1785, and then they make a treaty of peace of friendship, 1787. Dragon Canoe died, 1792. <laughs> 30 more million acres of land in 1809 before Tecumseh has enough and he rises because he was already under 
Dragon Canoe and Ishikamawa. And he remembers how he tried them up and he tried to do the same thing one more time for Israel, man. One more time for the tribe. But they made treaties with the hijack deals with the devil. But we kept fighting, though. <laughs> the Cherokee Indian Wars, these are still the Shikamagua, the Seminoles. The Seminoles are still fighting because they've been fighting on the side of the Kumse, as well as the Creek in them. And we kept fighting all the way into the Toll Texas Wars, the Karakahawa, and now we got the 1865, and you say, hey, you're free, boss. What you mean we free? We at your neck bone. We still at your neck bone, boss. <laughs> what you mean we free? What you mean we free, boss? What's this nigga talking about? What's this nigga talking about, uh, Gordon uh, Granger, man? You talking about fool? <laughs> June 10th, June 19th, 1865, proclaiming freedom. Who's enslaved? We're not in slaves. Love to the bro, let us find the truth. We're prisoners of war. What war? All this war on the Naga's head, bro. All this war on the Naga's head, bro, man. Because the Naga been here. 1828, Webster Dictionary, says the native, which are natural of America, are originally, these originals, Abba, <laughs> originals, or copper color cons, found here, boss, by the Europeans. Which Europeans? These Europeans, boss. And they made treaties and they kept this papal bull going. This is 1,550 years earlier. They were already at the neck bone of the Nagas with their power saying, all power has been given to me. Now there's a hijack. Oh, here comes Zeus to hijack the children of Israel. The true Sarah, son, sons of Sarah, rocking with Ama, with wisdom conqueror of fortune they want the fortune though their fortune is gold cities of gold so they came and they did what we weighing all in singular the premises with due meditation and noting that since we had formerly by other letters of ours granted among other things free and ample faculty to the aforesaid king alfonso to do what to invade search out capture vanquish and subdue all Saracens. And pagans whatsoever and enemies of Christ and wherever place the kingdoms, dukedoms, principalities, dominions, possessions, and all movable and all immovable goods whatsoever held and possessed by them and to reduce their persons to perpetual slavery and to apply and appropriate to himself and his successors or his descendants. Europeans born in America, they take the title Khan, the successors, the descendants. to reduce their people to forever slavery, said the Aqua. You are perpetually celebrating your own disaster, demise, defeat, and they apply to themselves and their descendants, your kingdoms. What kingdoms, man? Your kingdoms. They stole it out of America out the land of Prester John. 1530 map has Prester John in America. I'm sorry, Northwest Africa. 1530 map is 30 years after this portrait of black ass King Charles V hijacking the line of the Inca as the first European emperor. 
this is why we violent, man. This is why we violent people because we've been invaded or migrated on and treated on. Lands stolen by the millions of acres. So these Nagas, male or female, man or woman are dragons, period. Unknown substance. Unknown substance. Unknown origin. Alchemical. Alchemy. Not the serpent <laughs> that's impersonal in nature, unconscious, killing everything. Nah, not androgyny, Baphomet, Mahomet but the alchemical dragon that represents the philo philosophical quicksilver, which means they're philosophizing about your origin because you're unlike ordinary mercury that gives them life. You, you don't come from their source, their sun god, their witchcraft, their necromancy. You don't come out there, Simon Necromicon. You don't come out of their mad Arab. You are the Arab, rabbi, the law keepers. You're unlike what's ordinary for them. They can't understand you. They're philosophizing about you. You're mysterious. You're a substance of unknown origin. They can't understand you. They don't know where you come from. Where did these Americans come from? Where did these copper color races found here come from? What happened to the Israelites? <laughs> we don't know. From this quicksilver, the living spirit can be extracted. You represent that Ruach. Oh, yeah, that dragon is the vessel that the spirit is contained. Huh? The dragon is the vessel. This person, male or female, David or Davida, is the vessel, is the dragon, is the Ruach. No matter what shape, frame, or form it takes. They took your kingdom. They took your dukedoms, your royalty, because you've gone a long time. Israel shall sit solitary many days without a king, without a prince. Before you return and seek the creator and David, your kind, you went solitary. You went so long without nobility, Preston John, your last noble image, Queen Khalifa, you forgot. We all forgot. They took our kingdoms, they took our dukedoms, our counties, our principalities, our dominions, possessions and goods, movable and immovable goods. What's that, man? Everything. <laughs> Just like the scripts say, they, they, they took all of the you know, everything out the temple, right? They they raped the temple dry. They raped the village dry. They raped the castles dry. They raped the land dry. They took, 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 took. They captured, they vanquished. They subdued all Saracens, right? They invaded. They searched it out. <sighs> they put us in captivity and to perpetual reduce these people, these persons to perpetual slavery and apply and appropriate to himself and his descendants, the kingdoms, dukedoms, counties, principalities, domains, possessions, and goods, and to convert them to his and their use, slavery and profit, slavery, NBA, NFL, entertainment business. By having secured the said faculty, the said King Alfonso, or by his authority, his authority, I'm, last time that I checked, you know, <laughs> rest in peace, my naga, Nip, also known as Ermius. But when we talk Ermius, you know, we're just talking about Jeremiah. <laughs> Yeremiah is Hermias, Hermias, Armias is neighborhood nip, man, Jeremiah, man, who is 
son of Afghanistan, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, his people knew a little bit. They, they named him after this Jeremiah flow, who's the son of Saul, the Benjamite. And Jeremiah has Afghanistan who secures a high position in the court in the rule of David, remaining in the court, royal court, because we're talking nobles, nobility. You've gone a long time without a king, without a prince. He remained at the court during the rule of Solomon, who? Afghanistan, right? That's the Benjamites, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And before they talk about authority, the press that got the flow, David got the authority, Hosea 3. The king of kings, the Rex Regnum, he combines in himself spiritual and secular authority. Press to John, by Hawa's grace, only beneath heaven, from the rising of the sun to paradise, Kaleluz, Anion, Kiber. They invade Antioch, they migrate, because <laughs> they migrating, they migrating up in Antioch, in Kavera, in Kalelus, to do what? Treaties. Why? For your kingdoms, dukedoms, to do what? Appropriate to themselves and their successors, their seed, although the seed is supposed to be <laughs> established forever with Dawi. Because I have sworn unto David, my servant, my chosen, forever will I establish your seed, Psalms 89. But they appropriated to themselves what should be your inheritance through the covenant with David. Because the covenant of David is forever. And when you talk David, you're talking bond, bond. I will break to pieces his adversaries before him, smite them that hate him. That's this Psalms 83 confederacy that hate David, hate Hawa. Because David is firstborn, ain't he? Ain't he? Ain't he the highest of the kings of the earth? So where do they get their authority? I said, David is the highest of the kings of the earth. Preston John is the king of kings. Highest of the kings of the earth, Psalms 89, for the dismount. <laughs> so where do you get your authority, man? By his authority, the aforesaid Alfonte justly and lawfully has acquired, possessed, and does possess these islands. What? Atlantis. What? A Mexican. <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat for this, man. Y'all still got the fire burning, man. <laughs> Allow. Hey, we did it again. Aqua Leona, you did it again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Aqua Leona, man. Um, comments like this keep us going, and we appreciate you for being a dedicated wave surfer. Juneteenth is said to represent June 18th. 19th, what happened June 18th? They celebrating the Papal Bulldog. Northwest of Maxim, they celebrate a powerful bulldog on these islands. I mean, right? This facilitated the Portuguese slave trade from West Africa. Uh, that's you. Acquired possesses, does possess America, man, these islands lands, harbors, and seas. That's why they've got their sea law, their maritime. We're going to get back into it. And they do of right belong. Who's right? Who's authority? 
pertain to the said King Alfonso and his successors or descendants, what, of the Europeans, who, Charles and them, hijacking the Inca, hijacking the Americans, who, <laughs> Uh, you, my noggin. Copper color cons found here. Yeah, we getting it right so that by 2024, we know X is marking a spot and Phineas is crisscrossing on a headphone. We just talking the towel, man. And we did it again. <laughs> hey, wakey, wakey, man. Stop celebrating your own demise, disaster, and destruction. Juneteenth is Juneteenth. Con. X marks the spot. This is when you come out that Ruach Tarde Ma, man, and you choose up. You keep the fire burning. <laughs> and you keep the water flowing. The water to the cons. The water Aqua Leona. Anaga, stay up. Suit up. Choose up.